it is kind of deplorable that the world is silent as uh, India is trying to smuggle uranium to terrorists who could use this uranium to build an illicit atomic bomb, nuclear bomb against their enemies. And who is the enemy that uh, India has been using all its arms and arsenal against? It's Pakistan. Pakistan has never been at a higher alert for getting nuked by India. Modi is complicit in smuggling this uranium and is technically using it as a camouflage to arm terrorists like TTP uh, with nukes and these nukes are going to be used against Pakistan. And it is also concerning that G7 decides to build the rest of the world that they so conveniently decimated over the last few decades. And the only reason why they decide to build the rest of the world is because um, all of a sudden they realized that they feel threatened by China trying to build what they destroyed in the first place. And so they have to compete with China in building now after they destroyed the rest of the world. And it's, it's going to be amazing to see um, how they are going to prove to the world that they destroyed so conveniently by invading, decimating, displacing, occupying, how they're going to convince the rest of the world that they're finally going to build it. And what is really concerning right now and what is really deplorable right now is that they didn't make this decision to build the rest of the world out of the fact that they have regrets for destroying it. They're trying to rebuild it because they want to compete with China. They feel threatened by China's ability to build the rest of the world that they have been so conveniently destroying. So it's not out of regret for decimating and destroying and displacing the lives of millions of people with their invasions and wars and their military misadventures. It is out of sheer competition against China that they're convinced that they have to rebuild. Imagine how people are going to react to this fiasco, this charade, this drama of G7. This century is not going to be ruled by this white man's club. This century is going to be ruled by the rest of the world. Bye-bye.